Hi guys, Saloni this side and welcome back to our channel Codera. So guys, this is the 13th video of our SQL tutorial series and in the last video we discussed about the select statement and in this video we will talk about the where clause, types of operator and in operator we will discuss some comparison operators. And with this video I will also give you the SQL practice questions so please watch this video till the end. And guys in the description box you will find the answers of the last video SQL practice question. So please check out the description box. So guys first let's see what is where clause and why we use it. So guys in real world database table usually contain a large amount of data like thousands and millions of data. But every time we don't want to fetch the complete data while more often we want to fetch the subset of the table's data or only those few records according to our requirement. So in such case where clause plays a very important role. So guys we use where clause to filter our data of the table. So it will fetch only those rows which will satisfy or fulfill the specified condition. So this where clause acts like an if condition in any programming language. So this where clause will compare the given condition with the column value available in the table. So if the given condition is true then only it will return the row. So this where clause evaluate the condition as true or false. And guys one more thing is that where clause is not only used with the select command while it is also used with some other commands like insert, update, delete and so on. So guys with the where clause we have to use some operators. So in SQL majorly we have these five types of operator which are arithmetic operators, bitwise operators, comparison operators, compound operators and logical operators. And in today's video we will discuss about the comparison operators. So here are the six comparison operator that we will use today with the where clause. And this is the general syntax for the where clause. So the where clause is specified right after the table name that we write with the from clause. And after the where clause we have to specify some condition in order to filter the data of the table. So let's select some rows using the where clause. So guys we have this 5 columns in our employee table. So let's fetch the record which has id equal to 105. So for this our query will be like this. So we will write select star from employee where and after the where clause we will write our condition. So our condition is that the id must be 105. So we will write id equal to 105. So guys in our employee table I have inserted some more records. So I have total 10 records in the employee table. Now let's execute our query. So you can see we got only one record in the result because we have only one record in the table which has id equal to 105. So this is how you can use the where condition. But guys here I want to tell you one thing is that if your condition value is numeric then it should not be enclosed in quotes while in case of a string, text, date you have to use single or double quotes according to the DBMS. Like here we have our condition is name equal to jack. So the value jack is enclosed in single quotes. So let's execute our query. So you can see in the output we get two records because we have two records which is name equal to jack. So this is very easy to use the equal operator. So now let's solve some SQL questions based on where clause and some comparison operators. So our first question is display all the details of the employee whose salary is below 2700. So guys first we will write select a star from employee because we have to display all the details of the employee. After that we will write where and then we will specify our condition. So our condition is salary should be less than 2700. So let's execute this query. So guys you can see in our output we have all the records which has salary less than 2700. So this is the example of less than operator. So now our next question is display employee name and salary whose salary is below 3000 or equal to 3000. So guys to solve this query we will write select name comma 
salary because we have to select only two details which is name and salary and then we will write from employee where and then our condition so our condition is the salary should be less than or equal to 3000 so let's execute this query so guys you can see in the result we have only two columns which is name and salary and the salary is less than 3000 or equal to 3000 so here we have one record which has salary equal to 3000 and all the other salaries are less than 3000 so in this way you can use less than equal to operator so now our next question is display employee id name and date of birth whose date of birth is after 10th january 1998 so guys here we have to display only id name and date of birth so we will write select id comma name comma date of birth and then table name so we will write from employee after that we will write where and after the where clause we will write our condition so our condition is the date of birth must be more than 10th january 1998 so we will write dob greater than and after that we will write the date so the date should be enclosed in the single quotes so let's execute this query so here you can see in the result we have three records and all the record has date of birth more than 10th january 1998 so this is very easy example of greater than operator so guys now our next question is display employee id name and department who has id 106 or more than 106 so guys in this query we have to select only three records so we will write select id comma name comma department and then our table name which is employee and then we will write where now we will write our condition so our condition is id should be greater than or equal to 106 so let's execute this query so guys you can see in our record we have 106 and all the record which is more than 106 so this is the example of greater than and equal to operator so guys our last question is display all the details of the employee whose department is other than hr and accounts so guys in this question we have to display all the details so we will write select a star from employee and then we will write where and now we will specify our condition so the condition is the department should be other than hr so we will write department not equal to hr let's execute this query so guys you can see in the department column all the departments are other than hr and guys here you can notice one thing that in the result we are not getting the record which has id 108 while its department is not equal to hr because guys here in case of 108 its department value is null so to compare null value we have to use some other operator which we will discuss in some other video and you can see in our question we have one more condition that a department should be other than accounts also so we will write one more query so here we will write accounts so in the output we have all the records which has department other than accounts and guys one more thing in place of this operator you can also write this one it will act similar like the previous one so you can see the output is same so you can use any any operator according to your preference but guys here you can see we have written two queries but in our question we want both the condition in one query so how you can apply the two condition in one query so for this you have to watch the next video where we will discuss AND and OR operator. So please watch the next video. So guys for the SQL practice you have to create a new table and in that table you also have to insert some data. So for this you will find the PDF of SQL query in the description box. So all you have to do is copy those queries and execute them in your MySQL workbench. Then you are good to go.
and after this try to solve the sql practice question and these practice questions are also in the description box so guys that's all about the where clause and i hope you will like this video and please don't forget to subscribe our channel thank you so much for watching